Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Crypto Boost. Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey raised concerns about Bitcoin being used as legal tender in El Salvador while speaking at the Cambridge University Student Union. In today's video, we'll tell you exactly what Governor Andrew Bailey had to say about El Salvador's crypto tender. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update. Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey has expressed concerns over El Salvador's adoption of Bitcoin as legal tender after President Nayib Bukele announced the launch of Bitcoin City. Bailey argued that El Salvador's decision to take up Bitcoin as a currency was intimidating because consumers are likely to suffer from the cryptocurrency's extreme volatility. Trading around $43,000 on the first day of El Salvador's Bitcoin adoption as legal tender, Bitcoin surged to a new literal high above $68,000 on November 9th. Bitcoin's price has significantly tumbled since then, with Bitcoin trading at $54,626 at the time of writing. While speaking at the Cambridge University Student Union Thursday, Bailey explained, It concerns me that a country would choose it as its national currency. What would worry me most of all is, do the citizens of El Salvador understand the nature and volatility of the currency they have? The governor also questioned whether Salvadorans understand the nature and the volatility of Bitcoin at each, which causes his biggest concern. Bailey also cited a new statement on El Salvador by the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, which is responsible for tracking pitfalls to global fiscal systems. Issued on Monday, the statement outlines significant pitfalls arising from Bitcoin as a legal tender and Bitcoin trading in El Salvador. The IMF previously issued a warning against El Salvador's Bitcoin law in June, which didn't prevent the country from adopting it and accepting BTC as legal tender in September. Bailey added that the BOE is studying whether to launch a central bank digital currency, CBDC, stating that there's a strong case for digital currencies, but in our view, it has to be stable, particularly if it's being used for payments. That isn't true for crypto assets. Despite the IMF's warning, El Salvador bought 100 more bitcoins, taking advantage of Friday's crypto sell-offs following reports of a new COVID-19 variant. While addressing Bailey's most recent comments, President Bukele responded in a fairly ironic fashion, especially about the genuine concerns that the BOE has for the people of El Salvador. He wrote, Bank of England is worried about El Salvador's adoption of Bitcoin? Really? I guess Bank of England's interest in the well-being of our people is genuine, right? I mean, they've always cared about our people, always gotta love Bank of England. Bukele further tweeted, I'm really concerned about Bank of England printing money out of thin air. The news comes shortly after BOE Deputy Governor for Fiscal Stability, Sir John Cunliffe, declared that CBDCs are a revolution in the functionality of money driven by technology. On the other hand, the majority of the British adult population was skeptical and concerned about a possible CBDC adoption in an August survey by Redfield and Wilton Strategies. This recent news on Bitcoin can highly impact Bitcoin value in the coming days, so look out for those bears. And that's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.